Well, there's like trails of trash everywhere on the beach. This is actually where people hang out. Um, yeah, people come here to, you know, have a good time, but they're literally just sitting in trash. So all of this work costs money <clears throat> and gas here is really expensive. So how much does it cost to get like 200 a hands about? Each, each, each travel. Each drive. We also bought some bread, fresh bread for the locals. I was told that uh, the locals really like fresh bread. Alright, we are about to park and you can see the layers of the earth that the river has been receding a lot. Okay, we are parked and it's 94 degrees today. Uh, this is the area we normally park, and you can see already there's cans, there's uh, glass bottles. Ah, for you. So I was told that there's no way for these locals to transport the trash out of the island. That's why it's like all kind of left behind. Um, and a lot of trash around the shore, it, they're coming from either some people just dump it here or, you know, like the city downstream. When Jeff comes here, oh, he normally gives out some food, some bread and fish. So I was told the locals don't have water and they have to come here to the stream to get water. So Jeff is treating a fish that we brought to them um, in the river right now, just to help them out. <laughs> Like, this is not a two people job. Like, we need a lot of people to clean up this area. And this is only one small area. There are like seven houses behind that. I'm sure like they're also facing the same problem. And we're separating uh, the uh, recyclables, you know, into glass bottles, cans, trash, and plastic bottles. So Jeff over there, um, I think he's collecting trash and I have here is all cans and there's another bag over there you know um for glass bottles so as you can see it's already a lot less of natural colors there's some areas over there we can't really get to because um it's it's like a really muddy and it's like a swamp so um and then uh it's it's really hot so without getting a heat, heat stroke or you know getting dehydrated we're probably just gonna um finish over here um but it's already a lot more cleaner that area is used by the fishermen to wash clothes i believe and uh these are the bags this is for glass bottles and it's already getting too heavy so we can't put any more in um and this is for the cans There's no recycling station around here, so we have to just drive back with all the trash into the house and then like 
on Wednesday or Thursday, there would be a uh, pickup truck that comes by the house to pick up the recycles. Um, yeah, it's, it's not ideal, but um, it's better than just leave them out there.